guys? I'm here with Joaquin Alexander. What's How's it going? What's going on, man? How you doing? Good. You doing all right? <laughs> it's kind of weird the first time, you know, me being in front of the camera because I'm always behind, but, you know. Right. I understand that. So, man, tell me a little bit about about yourself, man. Well, I'm uh, I'm in my 30, 30s. I'm from the Rose City. Um, I'm, by the way, of Chapel Hill. I'm from the graveyard. Uh, anybody that knows in Tyler. You know, not many people really know what the graveyard is in South Tyler, but that's another story. Um, born and raised in the same neighborhood. Tell me, uh, how'd you hear about this place? How, how'd you hear about the Innovation Pipeline? Well, uh, I take the bus uh, every day, save some money on gas. And I, I was walking, and uh, it's right in front of the transit depot. And I was like, Innovation Pipeline, and I saw that it had the UT Tyler insignia with uh, the Eagle. So I was like, what is this? You know, and then I took a tour, and it was a uh, shout out to Jacob. He gave me the first tour, and it blew my mind. I, I was like, it was like Candyland to me. And I was like, I how do you join, or, or can you join? I thought you had to be a student at first. And they were like, no, it's a, it's a 501c3 private institution. I was like, Sign me up. So I did a couple more tours because I kind of got a feel for that. You know what I mean? I got a test drive a car a couple times, you know, things of that sort. And I looked up, you know, on my ROI, return on investment, and like 12 bucks a month to have this type of technology and capacity. That's a no-brainer. So I've been here ever since. So how has the innovation pipeline helped you as a creator? Well, first, let's go ahead and say, as a creator, what do you right. do? So, um, currently right now, uh, I dub myself a content creator. or And I own a creative services boutique, which is at Auto Group. I started in uh, as a kid. Um, I was always pushing, you know, the lawnmower and, and cutting wood and anything that I could do to make myself money. And that entrepreneurial spirit, I didn't know what entrepreneur was when I was a kid, you know, just hustling. Um, and came over into my adulthood. And then in my mid twenties, I started a drop shipping e-commerce uh, little thing that I was doing. And I didn't really do nothing with it. Then I started a YouTube channel and it kind of got a little following. And then I started trolling people really hard and yeah, just then things happen in life with my children and uh, which led me to 2018, all the things that I have done in my life from oil and gas and, and it was always creative, I always been creative. I always needed, always found a creative solution, whether it was art, music, logistics, no matter what it was. So, roll, uh, fast forward to 2018, I put together in a, a pretty sizable uh, portfolio of sorts by making all the right connections because I'm a master of networking. I meet a lot of people. I've been all over the place. And I needed to find something. I was like, I seen how much money people were making with doing advertising, marketing, videography, photography. But I said, what if you found one person that does all of it combined and or you find the right people and that's when that older group started in 2018. And then I found a place, uh, shout out to Nipsey Hustler because he has Vector 90, rest in peace Nipsey. And it was a maker space for creative people because creative people run the planet. And for the ones that don't know, 5% uh, are creators, 10% are doers and 85% are followers. And I follow, I fought, uh, excuse me, I fall in the 5%, so. How has that taken you to here and how has the innovation pipeline enhanced your career? So in the innovation pipeline, uh, you have a number, uh, a multitude of different things that you can go. You have, if you, I did AutoCAD software when I was in high school, well, sorry, in middle school, Mr. Work. Shout out to Chapel Hill, Mr. Work. Um, and I was always, I thought I wanted to be an architect uh, when I was a kid, because I loved building things with my hands, just being out there, you know what I mean? And they have AutoCAD software here, or Corel. And uh, they have a shop bot, and I haven't messed with it, but um, you can create anything with wood. And, and I've done things, I've built cabinets, I've done things over the years. So, and that's kind of a money maker, but in terms of design, you can apply that to different industries. They also have a laser engraver, and that's a big seller for me, is customizing cups, uh, marble, 
wood, putting pictures, uh, litho paint, litho paint, excuse me, on wood and people's, and cause that's forever on wood and, and people get that cool factor and you have access to that here. And I kind of dub myself as a mad scientist of a lot of the different things. I put myself in the likes of Elon Musk, of Jeff Bezos. Those are the people that I have always followed, especially Elon Musk and Nikola Tesla. Those are two people that I really look up to and that I've always, uh, I've been reading about Nikola Tesla since I was a kid because that dude's mind was, is, I feel like we think the same in, our, in the right frequency. Then you have 3D printing, you have a podcast room, you have this studio, and this is a place for people that me and like CJ to be able to come and have a hub of all these particulars. And then in terms of financial uh, backing, for what you get and the price that you pay, this place is amazing. Um, and you network with people. I've hooked up with CJ and we're doing some things. And it, it's it's a hodgepodge of, you can go, you cannot go wrong with whatever you choose to decide here. If it's 3D printing, that's gonna be a multi-billion, or it already is. Uh, three, the top of the line 3D printers are, are 250,000 to a million dollars, but it's prototyping. We're talking about aerospace engineering contracts with Raytheon, we're talking uh, L3, we're talking with Boeing. If it's the laser engraver, you can literally customize anything that you want and you can sell on Etsy, on Amazon. You can find a uh, third party that will give you X amount of cups to customize. If it's this type of content, you have uh, a 4K camera, you have the lighting, you have a green screen. So it's no matter what you want to do, and I kind of went crazy. Uh, I have chosen a lot of different routes, but it uses my creative thinking to use the equipment and harness it to bring what's in my mind to life. So, in a, in a, in a nutshell. What is your favorite space here? Um, I'm kind of a bouncing ball of energy. I would have to say right now, it's just, because right now I'm, uh, I kind of branched off and I'm and, and being a content creator, quote unquote. But my favorite place in here would have to be this for right now. The film room? Yes. Um, because everybody has a story to tell. I have an incredible story. CJ has an incredible story. You have an incredible story. If you're trying to make use of this brain power that we all have. Everybody has it, you just gotta find your gift. You can convene the message through a digital aspect. And then people like me and CJ can bring it to life or you meet other people. Um, I'm hoping that in the boardroom that I can have meetings with, you know, millionaires, multimillionaires, 100,000 there's whatever you wanna call it and, and sign some checks, man. Cause you know, I'm trying to get paid, you know what I mean? But it's been everything. It's the atmosphere in here. It's the positivity, because I'm all about positivity and growing. And here, minus when the train comes by or you hear the AC, the shh, but we can't fault that. We have a place where I can grow, a place as an entrepreneur, I can be myself. And it is, I, for me, this is my opinion, it's like the crown jewel of Tyler, Texas, where if you want to be the next Elon Musk, the next C.J. Mosley, the next Joaquin Alexander, billionaires in the making, this is a place to to start that, a launch pad. So. How has coming here helped you like network with people as well? Well, it hasn't actually, but it did get me you and my woman. That's been pretty much it because she became a member and she's went crazy. Uh, not in a, in a good, crazy in a good way. Um, I haven't, people don't understand what this is. Uh, and I bring a lot of people here. Um, I, I got another member, shout out to Cornelia Shackford um, and, and Marcus Rhodes. Um, they became members, and but I brought them in. I haven't, nobody that's been a member here that other than yourself, CJ, I have I have yet to work with because everybody that comes here that I bring in, that like, hey, you should become a member to grow your dream, 
they don't either comprehend what the, what they can do. Um, it's not necessarily that they lack the brain power, but they a lot of people do this, man. They just talk that talk, right? And shout out to Trey, shout out to Veronica. Uh, Veronica helped me a lot in the podcast game. And uh, Trey has helped me a lot in the uh, on the vinyl uh, cutter uh, to make t-shirts. So the people that have been here, and Jacob, Jacob really helped me a lot when it came to the laser engraver and the 3D printers. So the people that are here will actually have actually helped me. But in terms of networking, nobody, man, just yourself. Because, well, it's not a because, it's because you're actually trying to do something, right? Mm -hmm. And that's something that you have to have the initiative for. You have to be a doer. You have to, you can't be a follower. You have to be the first one. You have to be the one to go through the you know, trials and tribulations to be able to, to, be, to network with. Because it doesn't take much, a handshake. Hi, my name is Joaquin Alexander, and I'm a, I own a creative services boutique, and I have a place that you can come and grow for your business as an entrepreneur. Doesn't matter what industry you are in. But, I don't know, bro. Is there anything else you would like to add to that? In terms of why, like, more people don't come and network? Just in general, anything you would like to add? I think that, to touch base on what I was saying earlier about I interview a lot of artists here in East Texas, in Tyler. A lot of them want to be a musician, but they're they're on, they're not even looking at it at the artistry. They're only looking at it as a gimmick. Um, people like you and me, me and CJ, we actually have tangible things that you can touch, that you can see. As far as networking goes, the location of this place is in the nexus of East, North, South, and West Tyler. It's not crowded. It's it's next to a, a, a I mean, Gentry that goes to Twenty. I mean, and and downtown Tyler is about to blow up. But I feel that it's it's a person that wants to do more for themselves. Because even if they do want more for themselves and they come here, you want to be around the right people. So as for anyone else, make sure you think about it. This is free game. Mind the company you keep because you're only going to get so far in life with the people around you. And if it's people like me and CJ or anyone else that come here, because there's a lot of other people that I've never met, but that's just because I'm so focused and driven on what I'm doing. But... You have to have the yearning and the capacity to learn and be open-minded to know that there's people that I bring here, bro, and, and they're like, I didn't know that 3D printing was, uh, they're blown away. They're blown away. They, they, they don't even know that this technology exists. So if you're not in that realm or that ilk of people that are doing those sort of things, like if I brought a banker here, man, you know what? I want to fund something like this in my community then he taking his money where his mouth is and opening up his own innovation pipeline. So I can't worry what other people do, you know what I mean? But this is an amazing place to bring people to network, to bring a meeting of the minds. They have an amazing conference room. And even just out in the open, just having conversations with people. This is a great place to congregate. It doesn't matter if you're in what industry or if you're a church, uh, if you're a pastor and you want to come here and learn more about how to digital, me and CJ, you know, can help you with that. But that's a different story. But Tyler is changing and this place is on the cutting edge of change. And if you want to grow as a business, especially in the real estate or a banking or churches, because that's all Tyler has is banks and churches. Then you have to take uh, what's out there and put it in a blender. And this place is a blend of technology and, and uh, like-minded people. What's your uh, social media? All right, so if y'all want to follow me on on any, I'm only focused on two things. On YouTube, you follow O-R-O Nation, Odo Nation. The order means gold, you know what I'm saying? Some people don't really, I don't know, but... And then you follow me on Facebook at Joaquin Alexander, as Alexander with a Z. 
And that's pretty much it, you know, because I have other social media, but I'm trying to, like, you know, focus on two things. So you can catch me on YouTube, like, share, and subscribe, and hit that follow button on my Facebook page.